place looks sick. Oh crap. Well, dead looks people. like we're in the right place. Well, that's ominous. This is a massacre. Crimson Lance. These guys are serious badasses. Watch your step. Whole place could be booby trapped. If this place is as valuable as we think it is, they might be trying to protect it. I don't see any signs of sensors or tripwires or anything like that. But still, you might be right. Booby traps? Are you serious? This isn't some ancient temple or something. It's just an Atlas facility. A top secret one that we needed to find a hidden entrance for? Okay, that's a valid point. This is Athena's handiwork. I'm starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Mr. Ten Million Dollars. Uh-oh. Decent bond, new little playmates, right? It's very good to meet the two of you. It's a shame we couldn't be meeting under different circumstances. Bond, Reese, you didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? There are some things a man just doesn't solve. Oh my god, I am so sick of this. Would you just screw off already? I bet there are loads of other people on Pandora you could be tormenting. True, but none of them have the Gordis core. Loaderbot, armed weapons or something! I'm helping! You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? <laughs> the Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. Aww. What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. And that's why I beat you every time. Come on, Vasquez. Isn't this all beneath you? Coming down to Pandora, working with these guys? Wow, Reese. You know, I... I never looked at it that way before. I don't take advice from Janet. <laughs> it's always the face. Oh, you guys got not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Oh, and who is this princess? <laughs> Wait, they- <laughs> Son of a- Shock other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, I guess. Thanks for the heads up. Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I... I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. We don't even know how these cores work. Yeah! We barely even know what this Gordas thing is! Fair. I vote we figure it out all together. Two hallways, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Reese, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me. And that sort of thing doesn't happen often. 
I'm surprised you've made it this far. I got Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. You must have had some sort of help. A couple of desk jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50-50 you'd survive the landing, much less get as far as you have. Uh, I got help from Handsome Jack. Oh, so we're, we're telling everyone now. Is that what we're doing? Ah, yeah. Well, I totally get what you're saying there. I, too, have found Handsome Jack to be an eternal well of inspiration. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part, you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say known. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. <laughs> Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had this special rapport. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I, I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just <laughs> boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. I hate to break it to you, Vasquez, but what you're describing is... You don't is... get it. You, you don't get it. You don't. The point is, I was his punching bag. Oh, man. He thought we were exclusive. That's adorable. <laughs> I miss our time together. Ah, oh, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on its mind. But mouth. through me... His legacy carries on. <clears throat> How did you get paired up with an asshole like Vasquez? No, he's not so bad. He's just a little dumb. Valerie, the woman I work for. She's got a lot of contacts uh -oh. up on Hyperion, Vasquez being one of them. Problem is, we tried to cut her out of the deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. Nope, not once. Huh, that's a little disappointing. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your mettle, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh... I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found it. <laughs> he used to be bald and he was going through these hair implants and, and, and I would stick money to his head. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> go on. Go on, seriously. But ask that's him. a pretty big difference. Hey, hey, come on, I'm, I'm handing you comedy gold here. Are you, are you, are you gonna ignore this? Listen, uh, wallet head. W w wallet head? <laughs> yeah, so, I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, when that's I take terrific. your corpse Thank back you up that. to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, 
I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's... legitimately creepy. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to getting back to Helio Street. This place, it's getting to me. It's the smell. So let's just hurry along. 